Hey there, true crime friends. I just wanted to do a quick drop in on the weekend to say, hey, how you doing? Listen, those of you over in the member spaces know that I did a long video this morning. It took 500 years to load. And if I want to get on with the rest of my day, then I just have to do a really, really quick check-in. Look, the bonked her mama in the head murder case. Child. The prosecution, no, the defense has rested and the prosecution is going to have one little rebuttal witness. This is what I need to understand, right? The defense put up all these mental health experts to say, no, Sydney is truly mentally ill, which P.S. I believe she is truly mentally ill. I don't know what she has. They say she has schizophrenia. Okay, we gonna go with that. This is the part that I'm struggling to understand. She was okay. She was doing okay. She was doing fine. And in the moment she was going to get found out, that um she had been kicked out of school all of a sudden she had a psychotic break hmm and then when her father called her on the phone and said sydney what's going on and she said nothing everything is fine and then the dad said the police are on the way to the house and then she totally freaked out like it just seems awful convenient to me it is not i don't i don't think she's faking like i don't think she's faking that she's mentally ill i just question the timing of it right so like Maybe she was doing okay. Maybe she was like teetering on the edge of not doing okay. And then having her secret found out pushed her over the edge. But I'm like, girl, I just, I am fascinated to see where the jury comes down on this case because this is really a head scratcher for me. Here's the thing though. The defense, the prosecution puts up one rebuttal witness on Monday and then we go to closing arguments. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Who are they going to put up? And one of the defense attorneys, I, was it lawyer, you know, I don't know. One of the defense attorneys was saying that it's a really smart move by the state to be the last to go, to have the last word, to put up this one rebuttal witness and I, that's a mental health expert. And I'm like, what are they gonna say? I wish somebody could like logically explain to me why she was fine when she was talking to her friends, she was fine when she was doing everything else, but then when her secret was gonna be found out, suddenly she's nuts and then she's been nuts since then. No shade to those of us who live with mental illness, me included. But I'm just like, mm-mm. Something about this girl ain't right. Something, I mean, yeah, mental illness, but. And if her family truly believes that she's mentally ill, why not let her go to a hospital where she can get some help and some healing and medication and whatever it is. But also she needs to pay for her crime. She can't just be out here bonking people in the head with an iron skillet and then stabbing them 35 times and then covering up the murder scene or trying to cover up the murder scene and then being like, oh, I'm having a mental health crisis. Girl, you gonna need to pick a lane. I'm going to need you to pick a lane, Miss Sydney Powell. But we will find out more on Monday. And I am perched. I am ready. I am waiting. You know what else, though? Did you see my new cute shirt? I am obsessed, obsessed with this cute t-shirt that arrived for me from Pittsburgh today over there in my mailbox. I was like, oh, it's the very first mail that I've received. Uh, I think it's the second thing in the mail that I've received. I got a bunch of t-shirts today. Thank you so much to Mrs. Parker, who Mrs. Parker is always in the house. We love her. But um, I'm completely obsessed with this t-shirt. Anyway, it goes with the pants I'm wearing. Let me see if I, look. It goes with my yellow pants. My husband is like, you look like mustard and ketchup. And I said, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, get on out there. Enjoy your weekend. I hope they have beautiful weather where you are. They're having beautiful weather where I am. And so I'm going to be out here in these true crime streets showing everybody my ketchup t-shirt. Okay, you have a great safe day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.